Hello again, Craig here from ForbiddenKnowledge.info. Because of my job dealing with radiation detection equipment in the U.S., I have been asked by a couple people questions in person and then a whole course whole lot online about this latest so-called event at Fukushima in February of 2017. Well, when I saw the headlines, I knew they were wrong, but I did a whole lot more investigation and found out that they, the, the fear porn is tremendous, especially on YouTube. Uh, all you run around claiming we're all going to die, the oceans are dead, can't eat fish, blah, 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 and you're just all liars. Now, maybe you're just repeating the liars of the fear porners, but if you look into the situation, you'll find out they're wrong, and then if you're repeating it, that makes you a liar, too. So, because in 2017, February 2017, when this was recorded, we had headlines like, Radiation levels in one Fukushima reactor high enough to kill a human in two minutes. Another headline. Fukushima nuclear reactor radiation at highest level since 2011 meltdown. No. We'll get into that. Another headline. Radiation at Japan's Fukushima reactor is now at unimaginable levels. No. Uh, you took some readings. And you got readings, so you didn't have to imagine the levels. So... A lot of you right now are jumping up and down saying I'm full of crap and you're going to go put a stupid comment calling me names below. Well, you can do that if you want, but you also, while you're down there, why don't you look at the, I'll, since I quoted three uh, headlines of fear porn, I'm going to show you three headlines of anti-fear porn with links so you can look them up yourself and read. Try to understand. That's why I'm doing this video, because just saying it in words is hard for people to still grasp what the hell I'm talking about. So I'm going to be doing you a physical demonstration here in the next few minutes, and we're going to be talking more about the situation in Japan. I have here a Geiger counter probe. I also have here a radioactive test source. I got a lot of radioactive things at my table every single weekend. I'm not afraid of it at all. Here is, inside here is, is something called gummite. The clicking you've been hearing, like that, that's background radiation. Uh, no, if they're telling you no, no levels of radiation are safe, no, they're lying to you again because there's radiation all around us, always has been, always will. Long before the atom was discovered, we were exposed to radiation. Alpha, beta, gamma, x-ray, cosmic ray, maybe even neutrons. So, there's another lie. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to demonstrate for you here, as you listen, the closer I get to it, it gets more radioactive, right? Or are detecting more. Distance makes a huge difference, okay? Now, we're going to put this down here. We're going to do a demonstration uh, more than that because I have something to impart to you which will actually tr help you understand this situation better. And you'll have to excuse me because I work alone and I just have to do this the best I can uh, with what I got because I am one guy here with just some equipment. All right, now you should be able to see this is a model 700, uh, CDV 700, uh, old civil defense model. Uh, here's the, the probe. Now we're going to put the probe, well, let's, let's put it on top here first. Okay, this is my gummite sample. We're going to open up the sample, we're going to take it out. Yep, it's just a natural mineral, it's a rock, and you see what gummite, if you couldn't understand what I was saying, it's just a natural mineral, gummite. Okay, let's get it a little bit closer, well, can't do too close here. All right, now the probe, we're going to put the probe back now closer to where we're going to start measuring. We're going to have it at a set distance for this whole demonstration. Right about there, maybe we can work with this. Okay, uh, maybe a little closer. Let me just move the sample up instead of the pig, because I'm going to need more room here. Moving it a little bit closer. Okay, now, you, as you notice, the needle's moving about halfway up the scale, roughly. Now, you see it varies, because that's the nature of radiation. It's very random. To block out alpha radiation, all you need is a piece of paper. However, this probe does not measure alpha radiation. This only measures beta, gamma, and x-ray. So I put the paper between this, it won't do a thing. Because there is no way for me to detect alpha with this probe. I do have other machines that do detect alpha, but this is not one of them. Now, the next demonstration is going to be with plywood. This is a piece of half-inch plywood we're going to put between the source. And you'll see it drop dramatically. Now what we're doing here is we're blocking out beta radiation. Blocking out beta. So now all you're seeing is mostly gamma. As you see, it dropped it down a good 50%. All right. Now, we're going to use a concrete block. We're going to put the concrete block between here.
Okay, and as you see, okay, it's blocking out all the beta now, and it's blocking out some of the gamma. But gamma rays are very penetrative. You need what you need is is mass between you and the source to eliminate gamma radiation. That's why our shelters were built underground. Now, to demonstrate this further, we're going to take this concrete block back off, and we're going to use something more massive. Although it's not bigger, it's more massive. You see, this is a lead golf ball. Yep, a lead golf ball. And it's, as you see, it's about the same thickness as this concrete block is. Okay, now we're going to use the lead golf ball. Since I don't have a sheet of lead, a thick sheet of lead, if I put the golf ball between the source and the probe, you see how much more dramatically it cuts it back to where now we're almost getting background radiation only. So you're blocking out the gamma rays with the golf ball, the lead golf ball. Okay, so now you've got a background understanding of what I'm talking about. Now, excuse me again as I move. Okay, so mass blocks out. Now, the source, which you're hearing here, and we're going to put it back into the... Well, no, we won't. Let's, let's do it this way. So, having this gummite, it's on top of the, the lead pig right now. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. On top of the lead pig, distance makes a difference, as we saw. All right, distance makes a difference. And mass makes a difference. If this was in its containment building, in this case the pig, it's blocking out the radiation. So the containment building is doing its job, actually. But no, you just want to say it's getting all over the world somehow. It's contained in the containment building. But distance, what we're talking about here is distance. Now, remember, what the, the reason we're supposedly saying we got the highest levels ever measure, measured, and it's on unimaginable levels, the, the fear porn headlines, is because before they were only be able to test maybe here. The, for the first time in February of 2017, we've been able, been able to measure here or somewhere in here. They still don't know exactly where the fuel is, so they've been able to measure closer. That's why they've been able to get higher levels and readings, because they've been able to measure here instead of here as they've done in the past. So from possibly five gigasieverts at the source in 2011 to now 520 sieverts is a huge drop in radiation, wouldn't you say? But no, you explain it off as being it's, it's we're all going to die because now it's going to explode and we're all going to, it's going to contaminate the entire world, an extinction level event, you all call it. No, this is the first time they've been able to get this close to it. That's why you're measuring higher readings in this, in this fear porn headlines. So we got to put everything in context, but no, they want to run with it. Now, will all these fear porners apologize to you and retract their story? Mm, of course not. Although popular mechanics did retract and change the story to be more accurate. You see, they could, and now that they know this information, they should, but they won't because their channels are monetized and in order to get their money so they can laugh all the way to the bank at you fools who believe them and wallow in this fear porn, they aren't going to retract the thing. They'll post more fear porn dealing with Fukushima radiation. And explain to me if it's so deadly, like the fear porners are saying, that, or you're either doing fear porn on YouTube or else you have, you're, you have a book or you're on the lecture circuit or you're an anti-nuke. There's always an agenda behind it. So all those fear porners start demanding from them, not only they retract their fear porn story, but also demand from them to, well, if it's 10 times worse than Chernobyl or 50 times worse than Chernobyl, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, show me the bodies. Mm, no bodies, oh dang. Uh, show me the huge spikes of increases of cancers all around the world. Uh, well, no cancer increases either. Uh, well, all the, the dead and dying oceans, right? Uh, no, no dead or dying oceans. See, I know all your memes much more, uh, much better than you do, actually. And if you want to troll me and call me names, start out below. But before you go all the way down to troll, stop and read those articles that are listed below. Before, Because I'm going to be quoting those and many others that you're going to try to cite as, uh, as not being valid. And I'm going to show how yours are invalid, the ones you're going to try to post to show me how correct you are and how, how much of a fool I am for not believing your fear porn. You know, if you ask Google to find fear porn for you, Google will give you fear porn. But if you change the parameters of your search and reword it differently to find out information, you're going to get an entirely different result. Try that sometime instead of calling everybody else names because you've watched fear porn and they haven't. Because you say that I don't know what I'm talking about because I haven't seen the same fear porn they have. 
No, I've seen it. And I've seen much more of it than you have. And I knew it was a lie because I understand how radiation travels. You don't. Because anybody believing any of these stories has no idea how radiation travels. They don't understand how radiation travels. Because if you understood how radiation travels, you would realize they're all lying to you. Because it's not even possible for the things to be happening that they say are happening in this world right now. Unless you're right near there in Japan, right near uh, in, in, in the Fukushima pre uh, prefecture, you're not going to be able to ra measure radiation. Well, that's another challenge I've had for six years now. Anybody, I challenge anybody, show me where all this deadly radiation is in the U.S. and I'll show you it's not because I'll go there and test and I do all the time. There'll be other videos coming up here very soon because of the recent interest in this and I'm getting tired of watching six years of fear porn and people coming to me all panicked trying to buy radiation detector equipment. I have to start educating them about the facts because the things they're buying aren't anything like what they think they, what they really need because they, they aren't going to find what they think they're going to find because it's just not there. So I challenge any of you, show me where all this deadly radiation is and I'll show you it isn't. Very easy to do. In fact, I'll have some links. Uh, the next video, I'm going to have some other links. Uh, so look at this the rest of the channel to find out where the other links are. But you know what, folks? The truth is bad enough. They got a big problem over there. But it's not to be of any concern really anywhere else around the world. No matter how much you want to whine and complain about it, it just really isn't. Again, no bodies, no increases in cancer, no dead oceans, not even any radiation to be found. So what the hell are you all screaming about? Get angry if you want. I'm trying to present you the truth. If you don't want the truth, I can't help you. Till next time, so long.